Hello minions, Munchmo here with a blacksmithing guide for Elder Scrolls Online. This guide will go into only the basics, covering what you'll need to know for blacksmithing early in the game. The first thing you'll need to do is collect materials. They show up randomly in the world, and early on you can only find iron. Sometimes when mining iron, you will also gain other materials used for crafting. Once you've gathered your materials, you'll need to find a blacksmithing station. These can be found in most towns and appear as an anvil. There are locations around the world with unique crafting stations, but that is beyond the scope of this guide. In the blacksmithing station, you'll refine materials, which is done 10 at a time. When refining, you have a chance to gain other crafting materials. You will also be able to deconstruct items. This will reward you with some of the materials used to create that item. You will also gain blacksmithing skill. Deconstructing items you have crafted will yield less skill, so it is advisable to trade with a crafting buddy. You can research traits. To do this, you need to have an item in your inventory with the trait applied. Research takes some time, but continues while you are offline. At first, you can only have one research going at any time in the blacksmithing station. Each trait is unlocked separately per item type. You are able to craft melee weapons and heavy armor. To craft an item, you first select the type you want. Each item uses a different amount of materials. You can select to use more, which will increase the level and stats of the item. You must also choose a style. Style only affects the look of the items. Not all styles are available from the start. You will be able to unlock more as you discover them. You must have the appropriate item for the style and can usually purchase them from nearby vendors. Traits are optional and can only be applied after having completed their research. This also requires having specific items. You can increase the quality of the item using tempers. When you do this, you can increase your chance of success using more than one at a time and through abilities. Each level of an item quality requires a different temper. As you craft items, your blacksmithing skill will increase. As your skill increases, you'll be able to unlock abilities. Keen Eye causes ore to glow as you get close. Minor Hireling will send you ore and other items once per day. Metal Extraction gives you more materials. Metallurgy reduces research time and allows more research at one time. Temper Expertise increases your chance of success when improving items. Thank you for watching this Elder Scrolls Online Blacksmithing Guide. Feel free to add anything I've missed in the comments below. If you found this guide useful, please share it with your friends. Once again, this is Munchmo saying thanks for watching.